This was 2019 TwitchCon when I had literally face revealed a week prior. Yeah, yeah, and then you, just yeah you were fresh. And I was the first face. person that saw you. Yes, Ted was the first person who saw me. And you asked because I was self-conscious about putting my face out there. Took a photo the with you. Second I, the second <laughs> I took a photo I with you. The second I, <laughs> dude, I can tell this whole story because of just how tra traumatic it was and how badly Ted Ted added okay, to all this. this is dramatic. So I put, I was so nervous about this face reveal. I was not prepared. I knew I was going to TwitchCon, so I knew it had to come out at some point. Mm. Put out the face reveal at the end of a Minecraft video where me and Ann Venom kill the Ant Dragon, Ender Dragon. 30 minutes later, after that video post, I get in an Uber. I'm at the airport and I'm just, I'm literally sitting at the gate like this. Oh, man. Like, I, I legitimately thought that everybody was going to be like looking for me at the airport, even though they had no idea. Like, it, like, yeah, they're just like, who the f is this guy getting too drunk before his flight? Yeah, Can't even dude. hold his head up. <laughs> I was I was on Twitter. Everybody's profile picture was me. It was it was insane. Yeah. It felt like that's, I what I, being... that's what I'm worried about, man. Like yeah, if that yeah. shit ever happens, like you know, I saw what happened to Dream, and everyone's like, "Yeah, does that make you want to face your bill? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. "No, Dude. no." Yeah, no. I I, I uh, it was rough. It was really rough for a very long time after that. Um, I get on the plane, take the couple hour flight to L.A., get off the plane, walk out of the gate. Ted Nivison's no, wait. I there. was coordinating no, with you, okay? We were texting. Hey, 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 hey. You told me what gate you were rolling up to in I your plane. I know, I know. I, I came I up and walked I, out. I wanted to meet you. I know you did. I came out and I'm still like. You I'm came still stomping very out in your Timbies. I did. I my Tim's. Yeah, you were right. wearing your Tim's. Mm. And the first fucking thing this guy does, he fucking reaches into his bag of tricks and pulls out a fucking Polaroid camera and takes the fucking photo of me. <laughs> oh, he's kind of cute though. Uh, yeah, I think. Wasn't I, cute. Honestly, I don't know where that well, photo Polaroid, is either. I would. I have a. I have like a. There's a bunch of people took a shit ton of Polaroids of me. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm not too concerned about it. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that picture. Yeah, thing. I know. I, I can just imagine that you look like shit coming off that flight and he just took a fucking photo of you, candid, and you probably looked fucking awful. You probably well, dude, it was the face. second, it was like the second, <laughs> it was the second photo anyone yeah. has ever, you know, taken of my yeah, face yeah. that that's related to the online world. And like, I just remember that convention, every photo that would come out, it was like a, the, the loss of control is what really flushed me because this face reveal was this orchestrated thing where like I was in in front of the webcam, I did a hundred fucking takes of it. I picked the perfect one, and then all of a sudden, I'm thrust into a convention center with hundreds and thousands. And yeah, thousands completely of people. unfiltered. Yeah. Just will take photos yeah. of you from yeah, every man. angle. You look like shit. Your hair's fucked up. Exactly. The wind blew it. You didn't even know. Yeah. Then you and had every... to grow out your hair and put it in a bun so it never happens again. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. And every photo looked different of me. I, I remember that weekend. I was taking photos with, with a bunch of different people on uh, that I knew. And they were yeah. coming out in every fucking photo. People were like, why does he look different in this one? Like, what's going yeah. on? And every time where that happened, I remember Michael McChill had an, a shitty Android phone with, like, the face smoothing turned up to a million. And it, it made me look like a fucking 10-year-old. Right. Yeah. And then a second later, Anvenom comes up, and he also has got a weird Android. But it's it's this got, like, the feels face like sharpening. You one on it. This just feels like you hadn't had photos taken of you up no, until this point. No, I didn't. Because for three nah. years I was this faceless fucking YouTuber. Well, it's not like you didn't exist before that as a person, as a human oh, being. I know. Ted, but from the time where I started to gain notoriety on YouTube, yeah, yeah. there are very, very few, like single digits amount of photos of me taken in those couple years. Yeah. Like Same. I'm not even lying. That's how. That's how. Lockdown, I, I kept it. Yeah, and uh, Dream, yeah, Dream did a good job of I'm keeping it locked down, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm out of, like, every, I'm out of every, like, group photo and shit like that. Anything people want to post, I, I, I'm out of it. Yeah. yeah, and I think people are also pretty, like, conscious of your situation, too. And I feel mm. like... Once yeah, you there's a lot, of, a lot of people forget, especially over, like, the last two years with, like, I wasn't wearing this all that much. Like, yeah. Dude, I, I've worn this, like, in the last two or three months more than I've worn it in, like, the last two years. That's crazy. Like, look how rusty this son of a bitch is. Yeah, you're going to need a new one, man. Holy shit. No, no, I just got to clean no? it, dude. I got the vinegar. I got the, I got the double got strength white setup. vinegar. <laughs> I got the, the soap scours. I got everything I need besides the container. He's got a Patrick have, Bateman set up. He cleans the fucking dude. helmet every morning. <laughs> 
Um, dude, that's but awesome. no, dude, like going going back to conventions, doing the doing the meetup at DreamHack, doing the meetup at uh, PAX, dude. After like two years of not having a meetup, it was fucking great. It was yeah, like that must have been being nice. it was it's like being right back where we started. Saw a ton of people c- that came out to PAX. We saw Pyro Cynical. We uh, met up with him. We had a dinner. We shot a podcast. It was it was good because you, you're you're connecting with these people after two years yeah. and you're seeing them in person, and you expect things to be different. Like you expected them to have change but the reality is it's like you're picking up exactly where you left off yeah, two years yeah. ago everyone's just two years <laughs> older yeah but but it was it's all the same it feels like covid didn't even happen and that it was just yeah. a horrible 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 nightmare horrible horrible horrible, horrible nightmare horrible nightmare everyone's just a little more weathered and depressed okay. you know yeah i'm getting a little bit happier now they do the sun the sun the sun change Sun's we only get we yeah. have like we have another hour of sunlight here which is great Ooh. that happened very recently that's fucked my up. dick my dick was hard i was I, it was? I was i was but the thing is i was in queensland at the time when it when it changed but queensland doesn't do da- they're like the only state that doesn't do daylight savings in, in australia so, so i'm like yes darkness. it changed and then like i'm waiting <laughs> and it's like 6 30 it's getting dark i'm like I'm in Queensland. We're up there shooting a video for Halloween, which That's is which gonna be pretty good. I don't know if I could really uh I could talk about like maybe one of the videos that we did. Just the idea of the misfits coming back to their YouTube and doing group videos yeah. again is, is, yeah. is one of the most exciting things I, the, I've seen on, in a while. You know? Yeah, it's been it's been a drought. It's been a drought for sure. It was literally illegal for two years to like hang out. You couldn't if if you lived in a house alone, the only people that could go over your house were you could only have one person at a time, and they usually either had to be related to you or like a significant other. Right. So every single time I I went to Fitz's or Fitz's came to my house, the the, the idea was if a cop stopped them and said, "Where are you going? What are you doing outside? Where are you heading?" He's your boyfriend. Say, I'm going to I'm going to my boyfriend's house so yeah wow. you know we we were we were we were we were big gay lovers for, for a good for, for a good year just just to be able to fucking hang out but you have a, it was weird man you have like a fucking you have like a, a, a little party with five people like over your house cops cops would come knocking and fine everyone like two thousand dollars crazy fucking crazy i just they imagine fl- a cop be, like looking dude, at you two and being like dude you yeah. better start kissing <laughs> yeah. they, well, they it's wild too because, because you want to hear something crazy? Like when you came on the podcast, you know, I'm 90% sure that you were in the midst of that still. Like there was not a time pre COVID that you have ever bad. been on Cup Chuckle Sandwich. Yeah. Isn't it's that true. weird to think about? You were on one of the first episodes, and then the next yeah. episode, we just had yeah, such a good like time. We brought you like back episodes. again. Wasn't it, wasn't it too late, or was it literally <laughs> no, it me? Was the and next then it was episode. followed by was me. It, back to back? it was the next episode, and, and then the title was Our New Member, and we were pretending yeah. that. You are just now a member of yeah, the podcast. Uh, well, and it's so I great to be. finally have you, you know? Now now I can be. Now I can be another member. And it's really good it's really good to have like a replacement episode now after we had to, you know, as Schlatt knows, get rid of the uh, the uh, Markiplier episode that we had. Um Oof. 